Hello scrapbookers, this is Megan and I am back today with a fun new inspired by video. So here you can see I'm showing you the new Maggie Holmes collection which I am going to be using for this layout. And then also I have this photo and you're probably wondering if you haven't seen the other ladies videos yet, whose kid this is? Because, uh, I can't talk. Whose kid this is? Because it's not mine. I don't have a baby. Um, this is actually Christie's baby Nora. And if you don't know Christy, her channel is Christy's Beautiful Life. I will leave a link below to all of the ladies' channels so that you can see all of the layouts. This month, we decided to be inspired by the same photo. So we are a group of ladies. We talk all the time. Um, if we don't um, talk to each other in a day, it's like the world must be ending, right? So we have a little chat that we chat in with each other and we're always posting photos and, you know, things that we're, we're doing and, and we just have a lot of fun in this group. And Christy posted this photo a few weeks ago. Huh. I'm trying to remember when it was, it might've been a month ago. And we were all like, Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I think it was Christina that was like, I have to scrap this photo. And we were, we all thought that that would be kind of a fun thing to be inspired by is scrapbooking somebody else's child, um, from our little group. So we all decided to scrapbook this photo of Nora. So you can see here, I am just cutting down the papers. I printed this photo off on my little Canon selfie and I really, I considered printing it off black and white, but I really liked the yellow tint that the, the, um, the yellow tint of the photo, um, that the picture kind of creates with her, her bath towel. I think her bath towel must be yellow on the inside of it. And then just the lights of the room. I really liked that yellow tint. So here you can see I'm kind of going through the sticker sheet and pulling off some stickers and I totally just ruined that lovely, that word lovely. I totally went too fast and ripped off the L. Oh, it was a sad moment, but I was like, it's okay. It's okay. I can totally make it invisible. Like you can make amazing things happen when you ru ruin your elements, embellishments and things. So I tried not to freak out about it. Here you can see I am taking apart the ephemera pack. And the first thing that I thought, so I'm going through here and I'm pulling out things that I think would kind of go well with this layout and, and things that I might want to use to embellish. And I decide to make a shaker pocket. And one of the first things that I, I thought about this um, little ephemera bag right there, I decided not to throw it away because I was like, oh, this would be cool to make a little shaker pocket with. So I set it aside and I'm still just going through all of these bigger pieces. This set is actually not as bad as old ones. Um, like this one has a lot of tags and usable bigger pieces. Like, I'm not sure if I'll ever use the giraffe or the carousel or, you know, I don't know. I think there was another animal in there. Maybe it was a zebra. I don't know. I probably won't use those, but I really did like this ephemera pack. So I was happy that I ended up getting it because I wasn't too sure if I was going to actually like it. Okay, so now here you can see I'm kind of starting to set things up and try to figure out what I want to do. Now this is where I finally decide I'm going to make a shaker pocket with this little plastic bag that the ephemera was stuck in. And there were these stars and these black and white buttons. And I just thought those would be perfect. So I'm going to pull out some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins. And I think the only, I used two sets. The first set is Build a Snowman which yes, I know it's weird, but I just love those colors. And I thought they would be perfect for this layout because I'm going to stick to blues and pinks on this layout, which I don't normally get to scrap with, with blues or with pinks. I mean, um, sometimes I'll scrapbook pink with my boys, but not a lot of time. So here you can see, I added some of those, um, both of these 
sequin mixes from that one on the right. I think that was called Amy's Sprinkles, which is actually a discontinued set from Spiegel Mom Scraps. So I apologize. You can't really get any more, but I like the yellow. And so I just added a few of the yellow pieces. So here I'm just cutting it down and this is where I'm going to do a little boo-boo. So I glue that piece down and I didn't glue it all the way. And then I shake it. Of course, <laughs> why wouldn't you shake a shaker pocket? So I'm going to decide on this left side, I'm going to use an ugly piece of pattern or washi tape. And then on the top side, I'm going to use a pretty piece of washi tape because you'll be able to see a little teeny tiny bit of it, not too much of it. So I, it, it didn't really bother me um, that you could see it, but I wanted to make sure it was a pretty piece of washi tape. <laughs> so here you can see I've got that all glued up and sealed so that none of the sequins will come out. And here I am going to start placing everything around the layout. And I'm just showing you the sequin mixes that I used. So here I'm, yeah, just kind of placing everything around. And this is where I'm going to decide to add some mixed media. I don't do the packaging technique a whole lot. I used to do it a lot more. And I just thought that this layout needed something to kind of make it more interesting or I don't, I don't know. Like it just needed something more. So here I'm going to practice because I didn't want to ruin the, <laughs> the background right off the bat. So I liked the way that looked on that side. So here I'm just going to do it on my actual background paper and I am just going to do that blue. And that is also Shimmers Paints from Spiegel Mom Scraps. And that is Vibes in Snow Way Man. Okay, so now I am going to do a little bit of splatters, ink splatters. And of course it got all over my photo, but luckily I noticed and was able to just wipe it off. That's one of the nice things about noticing right away if you get your uh, your photo all inked up. So now I'm going to move on to this right-hand corner. I knew that I wanted to have an embellishment cluster down here. And I really liked this little ticket stub thingy that says happy. And then that flower and those two hearts. They were just really cute. So I knew that that is what I wanted to do down there. And then I had this little hot air balloon and I thought that was so super cute. So I'm just going to kind of keep moving things around and putting things down on the layout where I think they'll look good. And this layout actually took me like two hours to make. I don't know why it took me so long to make this layout. I asked Christy how old Nora was when this photo was taken. She said she was probably about three months old. So there was that... Um, little, I don't know if it was ticket stubs, but it, it was numbers. So it said one, two, three. So I was thinking I wanted to use that little piece. And now here you can see, I think this was the next day I came back. I had to take a break. I came back and I'm working on it again and I've decided, okay, I like all of this. I'm going to start gluing everything down. So that's what I'm going to do. And I think the hot air balloons are one of my favorite parts of this layout. This, I think I'm also going to end up, I'm going to end up ripping that word lovely again. <laughs> so I just was not having a good time with that word. I don't know why it just kept ripping. I should have just used regular glue, right? So here I decide I'm going to move that one, two, three over to the right hand side. So now I'm just kind of fussing and playing around with all of the embellishments in this cluster and I'm just going to start gluing things down because I was tired of moving it around. I kept moving the hot air balloon up and down and under and over and it just was too much. So I'm just going to start gluing everything down. I decided to use a glue zot on that little heart just to make sure that it's stuck to the glitter because I was afraid that the glitter heart would would make it not stick very well. 
and then here's that cute little hot air balloon and I'm so excited that I found a use for those hot air balloons because I really honestly didn't think I would use them here I am pulling off some of these cute little hearts from the puffy sticker set and I'm gonna add one of the black ones as well there was just one black heart because I kind of felt like that little section there needed that little cluster needed some more black in it and then I'm going to put this little banner it says oh happy day right underneath the word lovely and now I'm gonna cut this the top of that one two three off and I totally wish that I hadn't done that because I am actually going to take that part off and now like I mean I can still use it but it's doesn't look the same you know like I liked the way it looked with the little uh, border on top okay so now I am thinking I need to add some more up there in the, that top left hand corner and this is where this layout totally goes awry and I screw it up and I was practicing because I was like okay I want this to turn out perfect is this gonna work so I try using the Heidi swap I think it was hot pink and it was just too bright pink so I actually have made my own mist just with water and acrylic paint so I'm going to use that and I like that much better than the hot pink. Well, I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think I add some of the hot pink, but just a little teeny tiny bit. And I'm totally going to ruin. Prepare yourself, you guys. Prepare yourself. I ruin it. It's awful. It's awful. <laughs> Doesn't it look so awful? I don't know what I did, but it was just like, it didn't disperse well at all. And immediately I knew. I was like, oh no, I totally ruined it. So I am going to try to save this. It does not work. Let me tell you guys, it does not work. So here you can see I'm trying to add some blue and maybe in the hopes that that will make it look better. And it, I mean, it's okay. It looks a little better, but still it's like three globs up there in that top and it just looks awful. So I'm still trying still doesn't look good. So I turn to my scrappy friends and I say, help me. This turned out awful. Um, and I'm cleaning up a little bit. And I just keep looking at that area up there, just so frustrated that I ruined it. Leave it to me to ruin a good thing, right? So I was thinking maybe I would cover it up. Uh, Christina said use some washi tape and maybe try doing some layering. So I pulled out this pink polka dot washi tape and that looks okay but I, I still felt like it wasn't good enough so I pulled out the blue one that I used on the bag and I like that too but it still just bleh, doesn't look good. <laughs> and I'm going to move it around but that's not going to work. And then I came back. I turned it off because I was so frustrated and I decide I don't like it right by the photo. So I, I pulled out some black and white washi tape and one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. And that's actually going to work out. I was thinking I liked this little frame, but I couldn't decide if I liked the frame or not. So I was texting a picture to Christina so that she could go yay yeah, or nay. <laughs> Christina is the one in our group that is like super helpful. If we're stuck, we always are like, Christina, help me. <laughs> I tried this little banner, but that didn't work. Didn't like that at all. I don't even think I sent some of these photos to Christina at all. And then I pulled off this flower and that looks so much better, doesn't it? I like that. So I took a picture of that and then I decided, oh, what would it look like with the, the frame underneath the flower? 
and I totally shouldn't have cut up that frame because I don't end up using the frame. I don't like that at all. Now that I'm looking at that, I'm like, no, Megan, stop. I bet you guys are all yelling at me. Just step away. I could not leave this layout alone. Like, I don't know. I messed with this layout for so long and it just was not working. So I am going to start on another sheet of paper and I think I do two other, maybe three other backgrounds. So I'm going to kind of just show you my process. If you want to skip to the end, I totally understand because this layout is already 16 minutes long and I apologize, but I want you to see that sometimes mixed media doesn't always come easily to everybody. And sometimes I'm able to do it perfect the first time and you know, obviously this time it was not perfect at all and I totally screwed up my layout. So here I am just trying to come back and replicate the first <laughs> layout, the blue part, and it wasn't working because I liked how it was kind of a solid, uh, solid paint rubbing, I don't know, what do you call it, package uh, packaging technique. So I liked how it was solid on the bottom under the photo, but I couldn't get it to look right. So this next one, oh wait, no, I was going to, sh to, to check it out and see if I liked it on this photo. So yep, I'm totally ripping everything off of this layout. I'm crazy, right? I like that better, but still it's not good enough. Okay, so I stepped away for a couple hours, I think. Uh, I think we had dinner or whatever. And now here I've come back and I am going to practice on another background. So I think this is actually the one that I end up using because I really liked how this turns out. So the deal with the packaging technique, if you want it to look this way, all you have to do is put the the package thing, the bag, whatever, down on your paper and then just smush it in a circle is kind of what I was doing. Oh, and I forgot, I did add gesso on this page and I think that helped a ton as well. So even though my paper, my background paper is off-white and my gesso is white because I'm super cheap and I have a million other things that I want to buy, <laughs> I can't buy clear gesso because it's expensive. Gesso is so crazy expensive. It's like $20 for like a good size bottle. Anyway, so I am really, really liking this. I'm trying to um, make the pink stand out a little bit more up there at the top. So I am going to add a little teeny tiny bit uh, more, or I'm trying to, and then you can see down in the left hand corner how it like just totally exploded on my, <laughs> my thing there. So here I am just adding some more pink into a bunch of the areas and I apologize if you can hear the stomping upstairs and if maybe one of my dogs starts barking. My kids are home only I think like four more days until they start school. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. So now here I am going to tear everything off of this other layout and move it over to this final background and I am really happy with how this turned out. I just watched Christy's video and she said she had a hard time with her layout too and I was like, oh, you're not the only one. <laughs> like I wanted mine to be so perfect because when you scrap your kids, like your own kids and your own family and everything, you're like, yeah, yeah, you know, you're used to your style and you love your style but like when you're scrapbooking somebody else's kids, it's like, it has to be perfect. <laughs> So here I could not, I didn't want to pull that sticker off of the flower because I didn't want to rip it. So I am going to decide to cut around the paper, the part of the background that it was on. Okay, now it is ready to be stuck down and I have the title which says so lovely stuck down. And then I started to have a hard time with these stickers. Oh, here I'm going to cut out this bottom cluster I really did just think about maybe just putting it there <laughs> without cutting out the background, but I'm going to, I'm going to cut it out or pull it off. And then I actually decide, no, you know what? I really like it turned to the right side so that you can read the word happy. 
So I'm going to kind of fix it up and make it so that the cluster works going this way. And I really like how that looks so much better. I don't I don't know why I was so adamant about having it turned sideways, but I really like this a lot better. And I'm sorry, my kids, even though I tell them to be quiet, uh, Tinian's room is right above me, and apparently he's freaking out. I don't know if you guys can hear him, but he is screaming up there. He's a special kid sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so you can see me just trying to figure out if I wanted to put that cute little pink hot air balloon somewhere else, and I decide, nope, I like it in that cluster, and now here is where I'm going to change up these hearts. I am going to, I think I'm just going to use two of them, maybe not, maybe I'm going to use three of them. So now here I am going to use some of the Citrus Twist little phrase stickers. I think I actually only use one, but I'm going to try to use a few of them. That one says, oh no, I can't remember what it says. I don't know. And then I put down this one. That one says, oh darling, but it's a white color and it doesn't really go along with the layout. So I'm going to change it up. I'm going to take that one off and in the process, of course, I rip part of the flower of course, right? So I'm going to pull off this one and it says capture and I'm going to stick it right there, but I end up not really liking it there. So it's going to actually move by the end of the layout. And then I'm going to pull off another one and put it down in the bottom. And that one says shine. And this is the end of my layout. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this. I'm so sorry about the crazy process and how I changed my mind every which way. I hope that you enjoyed it though and that you will go on over and visit all of the other ladies and uh, let us know what you think of all of our different layouts. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.